welcome back to our channel. We're Dos Cavazos, and this is ReZero, Episode 7, The Director's Cut. So it feels like we're about to start a uh, a new starting point, for me, in my opinion. Like, I don't feel like at this point, as Subaru ends up dying, I don't feel like it's going to end up going back to, like, you know, him first being in the mansion. I feel like this is going to be, like, the next event. And we're going to kind of see where it goes from there. We saw Roswell um, had reference to, you know, taking out a dragon about him being his destiny or something along those lines. I also really think that he's the one who took out Rom's horn um, in that village. I hope they get back to that story because um, we pointed it out in the last episode, but he had the ruffles. ruffles. <laughs> yeah, that person had the ruffles and yeah. Roswell wears ruffles. So it would just only makes sense. We also noticed that Subaru's friendship with Rem is growing a lot, mm -hmm. um, especially after all the events that have happened. So it would make sense that it would be a new starting point, obviously, because it's like after all that, just to go back and like not remember any of it for them would be kind of sad. I also wonder if there's going to be any like emotional at attachment there between mm -hmm. Rem and Subaru. Mostly uh, my my thinking from the side of Rem, obviously Subaru has something with Melee that he's trying mm -hmm. to at least pursue. Uh, I don't feel like he has that feeling with Rem, um, obviously, but I don't know. I just feel like those two could hit it off in a, in a way, um, at least in Rem's mind. Before we get into today's video, we want to let you know that you can watch the next six edited YouTube reactions for ReZero right now over on our Patreon. And while you're over there, be sure to check out our reactions to all the other shows that we're currently doing in the watch-along format that we haven't brought over to YouTube yet, and let's jump into this video. Good! And finally... Victory! 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 Okay. <laughs> Alright, line up everyone. It's time to collect your stamps. A sweet okay. potato. Oh, I thought it was a sweet potato. <laughs> I was like, a sweet potato! The kitty's so cute! The kitty's awesome! The kitty's so sweet. That kitty's so wipe its nose. <laughs> <laughs> there are those who know the truth about what you went through. That includes Roswell and Rum, and especially Rem. And don't forget, I know everything that you went through as well. The cherry blossoms! Mm. A dragon-drawn carriage? Welcome home, my lady. I offer my most humble apologies for parking in front of your mansion. <laughs> so is that what all the dragons look like? Or is that I, just a I little, have to think little that's a dragon? a small dragon. Like, like, I can't imagine... You, you know, see Roswell? Roswell, Roswell like, like, ah! <laughs> like, just kill one that's like the size of an ostrich. <laughs> Hey, let's cosplay as Rem and Rom. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want to be? <laughs> uh, I'll be Rom. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting you to say Rem and Rom. I thought you'd be like, oh, like Subaru and like Haley. <laughs> Rem and Rom. No, I'll be Roswell. Roswell. And you'll be the dragon. <laughs> I'll be the dragon? That ostrich? <laughs> and then our dog can be like the little dog. Mm -hmm. He can be Puck. Aww. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the little evil little dog. <laughs> the evil one? <laughs> the one that freaking grows. <laughs> I believe it concerns the royal selection. All right. I know this is important, so I'll be on my best behavior. I know I'm a goof, but... Well, uh, sorry, but this is really important. I think it would be best if you remained behind, okay? Hmm. <laughs> He's like, not clean enough. Aren't you bored waiting out here all by yourself? I want to spill some tea. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking it feels as though I'm indulging in a great luxury. To be honest, it's the most expensive tea in the mansion. If the pink haired me. <laughs> that being said, however, I did notice that you seem to be quite close to Miss Amelia. Oh, yeah? Did it look like things were serious? <laughs> <laughs> Tips. <laughs> Need I remind you that you're dealing with one who may be the future queen of Lagunica? You probably think your wife is the prettiest girl in the whole wide world, am I right? I mean, isn't that what you thought the day that you got- He's like, no. My wife, huh? Why, yes, of course. Indeed, you're absolutely correct. That was an interesting way to say it. Sorry to make you wait outside. I bet you were bored, huh? In fact, I've been passing the time having a rather interesting discussion with this young man here. Come here. Are you a cat? Maybe half. <laughs> the boy that Miss Amelia was talking about earlier. She mentioned me? A friend of yours? You're in a battle for the throne, right? I want to be there and help you in any way that I can. Based on prior discussions, it seems there are several people in the capital who helped Subaru. This may be a good opportunity for him to thank them. Very nice assist, <laughs> Rem. She's right, you know. Aww, Aww. She's getting petted. <laughs> Is that like a, a friend zone thing to do? <laughs> like, what's the ultimate friend zone? Like, to I'm going to pet you. Pet you? <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> yeah, there, good job. 
whose cooperation was difficult Felix. even for Miss Amelia to enlist. Wait a minute! <laughs> enlist. I merely took a bit of a liking to what I saw there in that young man's eyes. Oh? Those are the eyes of one who has been at death's door many times. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's just kind of funny to think about it from that perspective. Van Astrea, the sword demon, says something like that? Then I'm sure the boy faces quite a bumpy road ahead. Sword demon? What's that? I knew he was important. You, you could just tell. Well, the way she said that, like, you slashed people in half, mm -hmm. like, it made it seem like he was a lot more than, obviously, just like a butler. Can't believe we're doing this! I'm or seriously chauffeur. moved! I'm totally living out of fantasy <laughs> right now, baby! Subaru is so cute. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Uh, because I was physically and mentally prepared for it then. This time I'm not. My hand is sweating like crazy. Come on. Would you two okay. cut out the flirting already? All that nonsense is... I haven't seen him in a while. Next will be Felt and Old Man Rom. I assumed we'd wrapped everything up rather neatly without blame the first time. But then, right at the end, Reinhardt's expression went dark and he took the girl away. When you say it like that, it... Yeah, can we get back to that? Well, if it isn't Miss Amelia... Good to see you again. I hope that you've been well since we last met. Yes, Who everything you, is next? basically the same. You seem to like purple. <laughs> <laughs> Julius? And I must say, you have only grown more beautiful, Miss Amelia. Oh! oh. <laughs> his attitude is ill-matched with his attire. That's no way to conduct yourself before one you've just met. Thanks a bunch for the warning. Throwing apple at his head. On the subject, I've got a warning for you, too. You shouldn't eat curry udon in that suit. If the soup splatters, the what? stains will really stand out. <laughs> I have no idea what udon is, but I'll certainly keep that in mind. Now. <laughs> okay, that was so random. I don't think it would be a pleasant experience for you. Oh, I've already had an experience that wasn't pleasant. That bastard taking your cute little hand and licking all over it like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> be good, please. Stay here, okay? Jeez, I look so pathetic right now. <laughs> With your bag of apples. Oh, what's Old going thing on? to do in front of the guard station. It's darkest at the foot of the lighthouse, I guess. You little... Don't screw around with us! You wouldn't want us to let- Were these the people who tried to jump him in the alley? Were they? Absence, but remember who I am and cut me some slack, okay? Come on, let's go. <laughs> no, she's like... <laughs> he was totally trying to help! Figure out what's going on here! It was supposed to be the classic scenario where I save a girl from hoodlums! Wait. Not just any hoodlums. Are you dumb? Forget it! This just makes it three on two instead of three on one! It isn't three on two, it's more like three on one on one. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you back to this neck of the woods? Oh, old man Rom! Damn you! We, we won't, won't forget, forget this! Bye! I remember when you killed me like ten times? I was never in the least bit of danger. You're kidding, right? I didn't need your help, understand? I'm a super strong, fiery, independent woman. <laughs> Wait a minute, you mean you didn't hear about what happened? Apparently, Reinhardt took her away. No, why would he do that? Well, don't that beat all. Had to be an Astrea, huh? I hadn't thought about that, but Reinhardt probably took her to see who hired her to even, like, compete for it, you know? Mm, yeah, yeah, because that might be his duty. He's more worried about losing you to another guy than happy to see you. A man's heart is so complex, it's a thrill to watch. You've got a pretty messed up fashion sense, don't you, Mr. Help? <laughs> Mm -hmm. My, my. How very attentive of you to wait where you knew I would be. I commend you for your dedication, Al. You mean you were the lost child? Does she know her? Looks like it, right? These are Appas. Haven't you ever seen one before? Please, don't make me laugh. Everyone knows Appas have white flesh. Well, I mean, yeah, the insides are white, but... Hang on, are you trying to tell me... Are they saying Appas? I literally thought it was Apple this whole time. Here you go. Look, it is apples. No, like in the show. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm still calling them apples. <laughs> no, like in real yeah, life. I was like, what? <laughs> like, like, it only took like an anime to say it a couple of times I to like completely have you question your reality. Yeah. I was like, you gave in to that so easily. I was no. like, what? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Uh, Neely, what's with the serious face? It's freaking me out a little. Nothing. If you don't know, it's fine. Forget about it. Her eyes like turned color. Was that just like part of the show? I mean, part of the design or? Hmm. I can't bring an outsider into this. 
Just wait here with Rem until it's over, all right? I'm asking you, Subaru. Give me a reason to trust you. I wonder her eyes didn't change color. Maybe that was just her eyes. That's exactly why I have to stay close to her. What's the matter? Is he gonna go too? Yeah, of course he <laughs> is. But I feel like Rem, Rem is too. This culinary adventure requires intense concentration. So if someone were to leave his room. Oh. Aww. Mm -hmm. Scumbag for relying on Rem all the time. But now, Poor Rem just likes you so much, he'd probably do anything for you. I guess times like these call for hitchhiking. <laughs> what? Well, that that's was real fast. Super effective. That's a Colian dragon. We just happen to be on our way to the castle too. Today, there's only one reason to head to the castle. Who is that? The lady who's seated before you is one of the candidates to succeed. To the <gasps> oh! oh, that's why. So with every choice I make, it's a given that all things will be in my favor in the end. It's only a matter of choosing whether something amuses me or not. You know, she kind of reminds me of Mila. You think she's the witch? You think maybe she just kind of like mirrored her appearance and that's who like he actually met that one time? Hmm. She keeps saying that weird thing about wor what works best for me. Mm -hmm. As their superior, I like to keep the masses waiting. I always like the term make haste. <laughs> <laughs> you say it a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, awkward. I feel awkward. Okay. Mm. I feel weird. You lied to her. Amelia, I can explain that. Uh... <laughs> oh! Reason you're staring at my manservant, Answer it. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you may accompany him. Wait, Roswell. If Subaru's allowed to stay here, I'm sure that he'll- Miss Amelia, the conference is beginning now. Oh, huh? she can't make them wait. What the hell is going on here? Do the other candidates? Looks Move like to the right. center, but you're going to explain this to me later. So those are the participants in the royal selection. So is it only those four? You know him, I take it? Huh? No, him! That's right. He's a knight by the name of Felix Argyle. Oh. And despite all That's why they said Felix. Mm -hmm. Kidding! What's the point in looking like that and even having cat ears if you're a guy? I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. He just growled at him? What's the matter? Where I come from, this is the kind of face you make whenever you run into a guy who's a romantic rival. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if everyone just did that? <laughs> Time is money. That attitude seems familiar, but I can't place it. Evidently, everybody who's in Western Kawaragi acts like that. I couldn't agree more. Miss Crochet, should the head of the Karsten- Here, she's like Beatrice. Reminds me. Not her, the other one. Sharing drinks and conversing at the same table, we'll have a chance to learn more about one another. Felix, this is not what you told me earlier. What? That's not true. All I said was maybe it'll be a drinking party. I never said I knew- <laughs> Felix! <laughs> well, even so, I think maybe we should hear- the... Sorry, but I don't remember asking for your opinion on any of this business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with the royal selection, so I'd kind of like to hear the rest. Excuse me, but... Doesn't that sound like greed? Kind of, yeah. Please continue, Marcos. As you wish. There's a specific reason we've gathered you who are qualified to be the dragon's priestess. A new prophecy has been engraved... Dragon's priestess. At the moment, there are only four candidates for the honor. And the royal selection hasn't even begun as of yet. But today... History will be set in motion. What is even going on? Van Astrea, come forward. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, this is going to be like a process that plays out. I don't feel like they're picking one of them today. Reinhardt Van Astrea would like to announce the completion of my mission. The fifth contender. Okay. The final candidate. I was going to say, why is there no? Has been located. Is it felt? Is it felt? I mean, he had her. her. It's gotta be felt, right? Who are these two people with her? Revere as queen. Her name. Felt! Is Miss Felt. <laughs> but. Okay, what the. Why? <laughs> yeah, like, what prophecy? You know, he even mentioned that there's gonna be, like, alluded to, like, a war, you know? When, like, he took her that night to Melee. So, why are there five candidates in the first place? Mm -hmm. They both look lovely on you. Oh, give me a break. I'm not talking about what I'm wearing. Wait a second. 
That's the girl from. I guess it's not that easy to change somebody at their roots. I'm glad to see it's not. Did she, so she didn't know, or did she? But like, I feel like Reinhardt brought her here because of something she did, because of a prophecy. <laughs> but hasn't really been explained to us. Fine. So what is it you want me to do anyway? If you were asking me, I'd say to act more like a lady. But this comes first. Thing. Yeah. As you can see, the Dragon Gem has recognized okay. Miss Felt as a priestess. Huh. Didn't Roswell want to kill the dragon? They have to join in with the dragon. She, he's using Melee to get to the dragon. Is it just me, or is it getting dicey in here? Uh-huh. It doesn't bother me, though. Yeah, all this posturing is no big deal to me, either. No, no big deal? No. A thousand pardons, Miss Priscilla. Ooh. What are you thinking? In a hallowed place like this? Oh, calm down, would you? I was only trying to teach that undisciplined little bitch her place. Oh, oh my shit. gosh! You're kidding, right? But out of curiosity, would you also apologize for being born? Oh my! <laughs> <gasps> the selection process is pointless. I'm the only one who's suited to rule this nation. All you people need to do is just grovel before my feet and serve me. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, yeah. So we want to give you the crown. Tintin, the Knight Felix Argyle. <laughs> Should I become the new ruler? I vow. He's like, Meowth, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a greedy little gal, so I want everything. No amount of commercial success can satisfy me. I want to have my very own nation. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like these people do not need a kingdom. <laughs> He has a point. The Estrella family offers a gutter rat to rule us, while Margrave Mathers endorses a half devil? Utter foolishness! <gasps> so it's always about her half elf yeah. thing. That silver haired half devil oh, matches mad. the appearance of the Witch of Envy as it has been described <gasps> for many generations now. Why do you not realize that even allowing her in the throne room is dreadful? Oh. That's enough of your crap! Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, he wants this. I understand that my half elf lineage and other similarities to the infamous witch subject me to prejudice. I adamantly refuse to let all my potential be plucked out simply for that reason. I will not falter. I'm still not unconvinced she isn't the witch. Mm -hmm. oh, what's that? Oh, uh, well, you see. It's okay, Amelia. I've made up. I'll be her king. <laughs> Hold on a minute, Subaru. What do you think you're doing? Stop! What is he about to do? You just declared before everyone that you're a knight, and you did so here, audaciously and without reserve. In front of all these knights? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna try to oh, fight man, now? That was a pretty well-coordinated move. So did you guys practice that just for this meeting or what? Of course we did. <laughs> what? <laughs> we are highly conscious every day of who we are. Tell me, do you feel you have the resolve? But do y'all have a cell phone? I want to make Miss Amelia the next ruler. No, I will do it! And you believe you have the resolve and strength to do that which you boldly claim? I also have unlimited lives. <laughs> have you worked enough to earn the right to stand there as a champion? Have you performed enough service to shame us, the Imperial Knights? Answer me. How do you become a knight? Mm -hmm. The luck of the draw! Don't use your uh... daddy's name to act like a big shot! Subaru Natsuki, that is not a good look on you. Oh my gosh, I feel like embarrassed I for know. him. This is like awkward. However, Subaru is not my attendant. Mr. Subaru Natsuki, please leave the room. No, I just feel bad for him. Is that dynamite? Who just lit? The royal oh shit. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> Was that like a. Was that, um. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, okay. He's just trying to get her back. Let me remind you that you have publicly declared to have no intention of participating in the royal selection. Thereby, I am not obligated to obey your orders. Mm, say yes then? <laughs> Can I just retract what I just said? Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. What are you saying, Felt? <laughs> that old man is my family. So let him go right now. Treat him with care. Very well. And he sounds like Jet from Cowboy Bebop. Not at all. From now on, I am your knight. Okay, fine then. 
I'll work you to death. No. <laughs> Still don't understand that dynamic. Yeah. I feel like that was just kind of like... It happened. <laughs> sure, you can count me in. But let me just say one thing to you clowns. I hate the nobility. <laughs> hate knights. And I hate this entire stupid kingdom. <laughs> Think about this damn place. So, I'm planning to tear it all down to the ground. <laughs> Reinhardt's just behind her smiling. If I become the next ruler, I'll destroy everything. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I'll take down every single down one Down with the empire. <laughs> Fresh air. We're going to have a constitutional republic. <laughs> Soon her words will be heard by all. I see. In any case, all of the candidates are here at last. I'm starting to feel a little bit more because of the inequality, probably. The propriety of those in your company will come into question. I would suggest that you be careful. Now then, you asked me why I'm here, correct? I came to see you. Why is one eye closed? Hmm. <laughs> that Coliseum? Discuss. Ooh, fun. It's like the Brotherhood of Knights. It's not like you. He insulted us knights directly no. <laughs> the candidates to be our future ruler. He also made light of the chivalry we dutifully practice. I admit he challenges him to a duel. He need only be warned and corrected. Proper. Sorry, but this is not only my problem. I feel like he's about to die and have to restart. Oh, this is his spot. Honor. Now, it wouldn't be unusual for you to be slain for such insolence. It could make sense, However, though. However, much to my dismay, you are missing me. To, like, make this day go better for Melee than what it did. Mm. Because he kind of came in there and kind of fucked shit up for her a little bit. Yeah. Made her kind of embarrassed. Made her, yeah, <laughs> like, look, kind of look bad. But they are fighting with wooden swords, it looks like. Oh, so oh. I don't really know oh. how someone's going to get... I, mean, <gasps> I kind of saw this coming, but... As expected, it appears you truly have no pride. What a simple and vulgar way to live. I don't know. Oh, man. You think he's just going to kill him? I don't know. Like, yes, I'm going to kill today, like... I'm told it was the Knight Julius. Mr. Subaru Natsuki accepted the challenge, leading to this fight. Kind of figured. Well, I'm against stopping them then. <laughs> My own friend. Don't misjudge me with your own unfounded imaginings, Al. But, yes, you know I do. Maybe he will kill him. Torture and admit that you've reached your limit. I'm sure you've oh realized to a painful ex Oh my gosh! That's like really bad. I believe continuing would endanger your life. Damn it. Oh yeah, maybe. That noose of yours will crush you. He's gonna die. What if he's gonna slip or something? Fall on his own sword. Up your sleeve. Your skill level is far too paltry. Such low level magic will only work on unintelligent beasts, boy. Oh, you aren't worthy to stand at her side. You are irredeemably powerless. I think he may have killed him. When I'm with you, you always push yourself to do impossible things. Let me finish. I just wanted to try and do something important for you. Is that right? For me? Mm. Mm. Are you trying to say that was all for me? Why? I never asked you to do any of that! But do you remember what I asked you to do? Let me remind you. I asked you to stay behind at the lodge. Stay and wait. You won't keep your solemn vow to me, your word, and yet you ask me to believe you? I can't do that! I can't! I won't! Damn. My gosh. Why do you keep trying to help me like this? Because of the many times that you helped me. Yes, that's right. You don't even realize how the things you've done for me have... Oh. Mm -hmm. So every last thing I've done has been to repay you for your kindness! I told you! I don't understand! It was you! When I first came to this world, you were the one who saved me from... <gasps> oh! He wasn't even supposed to say that. Well, I mean, I guess that can kind of allude to, like, what... You won't tell me anything. Uh, oh! That's so sad! Mm -hmm. You are safe because I was there for you! Don't you see? You should have a greater debt to me than you could ever repay! Oh my gosh, I don't know. So do you get it now? Then I'll repay all of them at this moment. 
by ending this. Oh, shit. There's absolutely no way I can look at you the same way I look at other people. It's impossible. Wow. Not what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. It's almost like they had a breakup, even though they weren't really yeah. technically together. Kind of, kind of not. Well, I mean, kind yeah, of. I was really kind of expecting him to die and then really trying to fix this day, but it really didn't go that way that I thought it yeah. was going to end up going. So now there's a few questions I have. I don't understand what's going on with Reinhardt and Felt. I kind of mentioned maybe he picked... Like, he mentioned uh, some sort of prophecy, but then maybe he picked her because maybe she can change things, and maybe he does want that type of change. Maybe he does want everything to be a little bit more, uh, not as, like, a vast discrepancy between, like, the the people who are, like, you know, vying for the throne and, like, the people living in the slums. Right, yeah, that could be it. I guess I'm still kind of confused as to why there are even five candidates in the first place. They yeah. said something they had mentioned, I don't know if, this was necessarily related or if I just misunderstood about how like the king had went into hiding or something at one point. Yeah, they said like they, they went into hiding and these these uh, these wise men are kind of ruling in their stead for at least a, a, a time period. Mm -hmm. But now they're picking somebody else. Yeah. And they also mentioned something about combine not combining, but there is some sort of connection between the the whoever's going to rule and the dragon. The dragon, yeah. And we obviously heard Roswell say it was like his destiny to slay that dragon. But is it an actual dragon? I feel like or it is. It is. A, you think it's like an actual well, dragon? Well, I feel like, you know, it's a saying, but I also feel like it's a thing. So, no, like a person maybe is the dragon? I'm, I'm not sure you about I mean? that one. I don't know. But what I do feel like is that Roswell is trying to use Melee to he's using his uh whatever however he formed this connection right. with Melee, he's using that to benefit himself. Now mind you, he might still care about her, he might not care about her. Uh but he was even like kind of amused uh when Subaru came out and started like screwing shit up and like, you know, being, you know, Subaru. <laughs> but like he was kind of he made this face that kind of made me think like Okay, this is kind of what he wanted to have happen. Yeah. We obviously saw, I'm, what I'm assuming, Satella. I know you kind of said you were kind of like wondering if Melee is still Satella. But they also mentioned like these the witches have like this white or silver hair uh, that they, they could look like kind of what she looks like. So it kind of makes me wonder if like the one iteration that we saw of Melee that actually said the name was Satella was Satella. Um, and maybe, right. was that, that was the first one, Satella. Yeah. So maybe at that point is where he actually did meet her, and maybe that's when he got cursed and, like, kind of got put down this path about, you know, repeating and dying and restarting. I'm not sure why. Maybe the witch, I don't know, maybe just wants a partial witch on the throne? I, I mean, I don't really, I feel like there's some sort of beef between like uh, the the Satella and then I guess everybody else but I mean I don't I don't really know what Satella's motivation is but I feel like Satella is the one who cursed Subaru and that's right. who's preventing him from saying anything yeah because there's obviously a reason Subaru has this weird ability that mm. he has that he goes back first of all that he's even in this like new la land to begin with yeah. but second of all like why he's in this he keeps repeating whatever and then obviously it has to do something with Melee you mm. would assume I still feel like Melee could be Satella. Maybe she doesn't remember. Maybe she is like grand scheming this whole thing and she's <laughs> evil. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be I crazy. Just, yeah. I, I have no idea. There's just something there and I feel like we haven't gotten it yet. But there's like there's a reason that he keeps going back and stuff, you yeah. know, and he's not allowed to tell anybody anything. This uh, this feels minuscule, but I really feel bad for Ram. <laughs> like she just like oh, likes Subaru, Ram. but like you know, Subaru is obviously obsessed with Melee, so I don't think yeah. that's ever gonna be a thing. Obviously, I think he's too obsessed with Melee, and she's freaking yeah. around. Yeah, I mean, he looked crazy when he was yeah. saying all that stuff and saying that you owe me more type of thing. I'm just like, uh, I don't really know here. I know like you know, you yeah. fucked up. You went in there. You fucking like proclaimed yourself a knight, and that really pissed yeah. off all the actual knights and whatnot and you embarrass melee but I, I just i don't know that that outburst i don't feel like was worth 
was worth it in my opinion now he just kind of seems a little crazy and like i obviously that drove away her even more so so i don't really know how they're gonna mend that relationship i think if they were to mend the relationship he has to stop putting her on such a pedestal yeah. like just because you like someone or even love someone doesn't mean you have to like act a fool like <laughs> crazy all the time like calm down yeah. Subaru. all right well thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye everyone